Hi, I'm John Gazin in the Department of Family Medicine. This is Bill Garant. Thanks for being with us. He's going to help us demonstrate how to perform the vital signs. And those, the vital signs are composed of the pulse, the respirations, and the blood pressure. And they're an important mark of a patient's physiologic function. Um, first, we're going to check the pulse. and do that using the, and you palpate the pulse with the um, pads of your fingers, usually your second and third finger. The pulse is most easily palpated in most people over the radial artery, which is on the medial uh, aspect of the wrist, um, just proximal to the thumb. And it helps to have a watch with a second hand when you do this. And you should count the pulse for a minute and note both its uh, the regularity and the um, and the quality of the pulse. And then the pulse is recorded in beats per minute. You should then uh, watch the person breathe. Um, just going to extra, extra relax your arm, your will. Mm -hmm. And one inspiratory and expiratory cycle uh, counts for one respiration. Again, you should watch someone breathe for a minute. And it, 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 people will often change the breathing pattern they know they're being observed. So sometimes it helps to do this without letting the patient know that. And you're going to want to notice both the the rate and the pattern of respiration, whether it's regular or not. And the respiration is recorded again in breaths per minute. We're going to go ahead and check the blood pressure. And first, you want to be sure that you have an appropriately sized blood pressure cuff. You also want to note the size of the, the bladder, which is the part of the cuff that you inflate. And most cuffs will uh, have one edge marked with the white line, or just the little marked edge of the cuff. And on the back part of the cuff, they'll demonstrate the, the, the range, which gives you an idea about the, the appropriate size for the cuff. And uh, the leading edge of the cuff should fall somewhere within this range. You can use it on, this, on, on a given patient. Cuffs that, that are too small tend to overestimate a patient's blood pressure and cuffs that are too large will underestimate a patient's blood pressure. So we're going to place the middle of the bladder, which on those cuffs is marked by um, marked by some type of marking here, it says artery, over the brachial artery, which is located just medial to the biceps tendon in the antecubital fossa, which is right here. You want to place the cuff about two or three centimeters above the antecubital fossa. And then you want to support the patient's arm, um, either if he's sitting down on a table, but if he's sitting like this on an exam table with your hand. Is that That's comfortable? Okay. I'm actually going to change that because first we want to, um, we're going to palpate the systolic pressure at the radial artery. We're going to pump up the cuff until we can no longer palpate the, the pulse of the radial artery. Then by another 20 millimeters of mercury above that. And we're going to let it down slowly until we can feel the pulse again. And we're going to rapidly deflate it. And that estimates the uh, systolic blood pressure. Okay. You determine the systolic blood pressure by palpating to avoid the oscillatory gap. I'm going to go ahead and uh, listen for the blood pressure using the stethoscope. If you have a stethoscope that has both a diaphragm and a bell, you want to use the bell to better hear to better hear the uh, the blood pressure. So I'm going to support the patient's arm. I'll place the stethoscope over the brachial artery. I'm going to, go, I'm going to pump up the blood pressure cuff to about 20 millimeters above the palpable. Uh, systolic blood pressure. I'm going to slowly lap the cuff at about two to three millimeters per second. And the first two sounds you hear will be the systolic blood pressure. And then the final sound will be the diastolic blood pressure. Okay. Thank you, Bill. Mm -hmm. Thanks.